and gentlemen, this is Hans, the Ramen Raider, coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. You know, this, today, is December 31st, 2020, New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's Eve to everybody, and yeah, I'm actually, I did this today, and it's coming out today. It's also going to come out when the actual episode number is in order, so over in, uh, probably around late February, you'll see this again, but... The show is uh, a wonderful show, and you're going to love it. I'm making something fabulous and fantastic. I, uh, I think it's going to be great. What, what, do you, what do you think? I think don't worry about it. I have absolutely no doubt. I have absolutely no doubt it's going to be a wonderful show. Uh, you might wonder why... I'm playing the President Perfecto device so often lately, and uh, that's why. That's why. Every time I plug it, they send me 20 of these. They do. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a rad show. You're going to love it. You're going to tell your children where you were at when you saw it, and it's going to be great. And today, we have a special guest on the show for this. Uh, fine recipe that's going to be made. Um, we'll get to him in a minute. I've got all the, the stuff. We got, we got Cheetos, Doritos, and Spicy Cheese Me Garang. And today on the show, we've got our friend Stumpy from Arkansas. How is it going, old Stumpy from Arkansas? What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Well, you know, it's going. It is going. So what's new? What's new? Uh, welcome to when it is. Yeah. Good to be here. You're gonna have to speak up a little bit. Your face is a little quiet. Your face needs to make noise. Isn't that right, President Perfecto? I don't know, to be honest. Okay. Well. There we are. We have that. Okay, making noise out of my face. Here we there go. There you go. Awesome. Look at that. So, why don't you tell us about what's going on? in uh, the world of Stumpy currently? Currently, Stumpy is uh, preparing the apartment for cleanliness. I have been organizing my, uh, my pad. Your squalor? Bachelor pad. My squalor. I've been organizing and putting things in different places where they should go. And have you been organizing uh, your cockroaches? I know you've been doing them by uh, name lately. Kind of like yeah, a hurricane yeah. season idea. By the way, yeah, if you're going to make your own, I'm making prison ramen burritos, okay? And I'm making them out of Solera Pedas. It's a product by ABC President. Uh, this one is the spicy cheese one, and it comes with a mayo garnish. Just so you know. Aha. Yeah. But yeah, I, I crushed up the noodle. Everything basically that you saw has gotten has been crushed up. And then it's going to use way less water. We're going to cook it down a little bit. We're going to add all the other stuff in. Stir it up. Slap it in a big freezer-sized Ziploc bag. Close that up and let it sit a while. Congeal. And then we're going to see the magic unfold. Sorry to interrupt you. But I think people will like it. What, what do you think? Anyway, so you're organizing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've set up a, uh, a box to put the, um, put the corpses into. And I've been um, organizing them in the box. Are you making basically uh, cockroach totems to ward off the others? It's more of a... Uh, 
mound of dead cockroaches. Nice. Like a mass burial. That is savory as opposed to unsavory. Yeah. I, I would say. All right. I am now about to add the powder base. Keep talking, you know. We we want to know what's going on. What 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 what's the deal? This is well, supposed to be deal. like a special episode, and when there's dead air and you're not talking, it kind of puts the kibosh on everyone's happiness. Oh right, right. So it's also uh, against, I, I believe. Dead air on a radio show, although this isn't even a radio show, uh, is actually against FCC rules. Uh, and the I last see. thing I want to do is anger the Federal Communications Commission. Well, it's kind of the time where people talk about New Year's resolutions. Do you have anything like that? Like a resolution for the New Year? Yeah, I've got a couple. One is to... Uh, um, uh, well, you know, we got the COVID going on, so it's like, COVID. Yep. we've got the COVID, I, I don't want to get that, that's, that's one, but, uh, the idea is to, I think, like, on Saturday, I'll, um, there is snow, it's not next door, but, I mean, we'd have to probably go east a little bit. But maybe go... No, no, Friday. Friday, because that's New Year's Day. That's right. But uh, head up to the, the, you know, east. Good. Go east. Take the kids out. Let them see some snow. I mean, all we got to do is go as far as we need to to get to the snow. Which, living in western Washington, I'm going to guess... Maybe Gold Bar, maybe a little bit past that. We'll just take US 2 until we get to, you know, and that actually would be kind of handy because there's probably just like parking lots inundated with snow. Yeah. Or we could just go a little bit further, you know. We're not looking to like get the car stuck or anything, but, you know, they had so much fun. The first day of winter, there was some snow. I was just thinking like more nice outings with the kids would be nice. Obviously, we're not going to go to like a fun park or anything like that. Uh, we want the kids and us to stay, stay happy and wonderful. But uh, I'm now adding the Cheetos, and next will be the Doritos. What about you? You got any uh, resolutions? Yes, uh, I would like to uh, employable myself and uh, make myself work. I mean, work. <laughs> Well, let's find out if that's going to happen. No. Next question. Wow, that's that's pretty dark. Oh, I pushed his button. That would be a great thing for all of humanity. But he says it would be know. a great thing for all humanity. So he's he's not it's not looking good in the eyes of the great perfecto. But, huh? Yeah, that's that's a that's a worthy a worthy goal. You know? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not going to be too picky either, you know, I just want to get back in the workforce and, uh, you know, I would prefer to have the vaccine under my belt before I go out there. And you got a way to get that. You got a ways to go before you're getting a vaccine. You got to get old, or you got to be younger, I think, or it's just not not in the cards for any of us yet. I hate to tell you. Yeah, well, you know. You should be a screener. I tell you what, man. Then you can then you can go, and you can. Uh, let me turn this down a little. You can go and be a screener, and then you can get paid just to sit there and go, I don't want the COVID, 
and then not get the COVID because you're a screener. Because they will get the medicine. Yes, they will get vaccinated. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Yes. Eventually, at least. Yeah. That's the logic right. is sound there. Well, you know, I try. But, uh... Yeah. I think we need some more. More liquid. There we go. That's more than enough liquid. Okay. We have now a big pot of craziness that we're gonna put in a big Ziploc bag. Okay? Okay. That's how it works. And what the Ziploc bag does is it acts as kind of like a mold. If you're in prison and watching, um, you're probably not gonna have a big Ziploc bag, so you use a trash bag. I think that's what people usually use. I've had people like go, you know, that's really not authentic unless you're using the stuff that people have in prison. I'm like, okay, just to please you, I will go to prison and make one. I don't think I'll be able to film the show in prison, though. But that's, that's my New Year's resolution, to go to prison to make sure that one guy feels as if he's being served. But, I don't know. I, th I think maybe I won't go to prison. How about that? Oh, I detected the dripping sarcasm. It was dripping off those words. Oh. I could hear them. Yeah. Yeah, there's some sarcasm there. Yeah, I, I will validate sarcastic remarks. Yeah. yeah so, Thank validated. You. And see, what I do is I correct my friends when they're wrong. And I do it for free. It's a helper Stumpy thing. is often wrong with words. Huh? I am. I am often wrong with words. Especially pronunciation. Oh, yeah. That's, that's true. But, uh, well, yeah. That's, 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 that sounds like a reasonable uh, New Year's resolution. Employment. Because you're not going to school anymore. No. No. I have uh, gotten... Uh, 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 done with school based on um, being doing the opposite of passing classes. So, so you got you I got mean, straight F's, didn't you? Yeah, you could put it that way. And but you but and you earned. said you were on your job application when it talked. You were gonna add like to your resume, consistent. What was it? Um, Consistently consistent, maintains... Consistently maintains scholastic performance. I love it. That's right. perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not... That's not... I mean, that's true. You had three yeah. of them. That's consistency. So... Yeah. Alright, I'm yeah. rolling up this burrito monstrosity. This is going to be a grande. Grande mm. burrito. Uh, I don't know how mm, it will be. It'll be definitely be something to witness. I'll, uh, during the photo period, I will send you some images once it's done. But yeah, let's roll this sucker up. These are kind of a pain to roll up too. Gotta get it just right. And there is. Just Does right. it roll up kind of like a pecan log? That's a southern thing. Pecan log. I've seen those. Yeah. I don't... I don't want to eat one. Let me get that right off the bat. There's mystery goo in the center that sticks all the pecans together in a roll, and I don't know what that's made out of. I think it's called Mal... Isn't that called Malamar? Maybe. It's called I'm not something. Sure. Well, we're going to allow uh, this amazingness to uh, chill. Here, let's make it so you can see it. We're going to let this amazingness chill out out for the next uh oh usually 
see I like to give it about 25 minutes. So let's set the timer. And I won't make you sit and watch the whole thing. I mean, that would just be crude. And cruel. Far be it for me to, you know, not not allow people the cruelty that they so deserve, but yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be nice. It is New Year's Eve. So let's start this timer. And uh, put it right about that. And uh, yeah, you're going to hang out, right, Stumpy? You'll be back for the second half of the magic? Of course. I'll be here. All right. Well, let's watch, be amazed, and see you in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see, I'm gonna, I, I came in here and I checked the consistency earlier, let's, this thing looks all firmed up, oh yeah, nice flat bottom, we have a solid, wonderful, prison ramen style burrito ready to be plated, what do you, what do you have to say about that, Stumpy, what do you think? I think that is super awesome. Don't you though? Totally. Yes. Should we ask the the guy? Should ask the guy. Yes. Is that good? Absolutely, 100%. Perfect. Perfect. We're in. Oh. You got something to add? Yes. But let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's see what happens. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. You can see. So now it's the moment of truth. We're going to take this prison ramen burrito and set it on this, not this plate. I really wanted to use the lovely plate with the apples on it, but I think we're gonna to have to go with a different plate. Go with that plate, although that has a chip in it. See, what I wish I had were slightly less wide bags. That would make things a lot easier as far as plating goes, because these things are wide, and if it's got a, a bend on the edge, like this one, let's look. I think this will work. Yeah, this will work. All right. So it is time to do it to it. So what we do now is we take a pair of scissors and we actually cut the bag. Now, if you're an avid fan of the show and you're making this, you don't have to save the bag. Some people like to save everything. And I'm going to say right now, you don't have to add it to your hoard. I'm simply going to throw mine away. Okay? So. Oh, wow. This is a beauty. This is a really good one. Indonesian style ramen. Migarang, as it were. I'm going to have to stand upright for this. Now that's a little a little much. But, you know, sometimes you got to do these things. Not for me, but for the people. The burrito turned out pretty solid there. It's it, all It's it's looking good. Good. It's looking good. So 
So we just need to let it let go. I think I did this differently before. I don't know how happy I am with how this is coming out of the bag, but it is coming out of the bag. We have a greasy loaf. A very greasy loaf. Wow! Now I'm going to attempt to do the roll. Here we go. Oh, oh, I can't. Can I? Oh, no, 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 no! We've just had a big accident. I did this totally wrong. I apologize. This is the last, it's, I'm actually doing this in the afternoon in 2020. I'm gonna use this spatula to attempt to save the burrito, but the burrito has lost cohesion. It's a little split. And you know, this is what is to be expected with doing things in 2020. So I'm not, I'm like the guy on, uh, what's that show, Deal or No Deal, who just like threw away the, the million dollar suitcase. So, oh, that's okay, it's all right. Is it all right? We'll be fine. Is it all right? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's all right, ladies and gentlemen. I think I, uh, what do they call that? That's what I want to talk about. Isn't it weird? Like, there was a character on, what was that show? Was it, was it Family Ties where there was like, a friend character named Boner. Boner on Family Ties. Was it Family it was Ties? Family Ties. What show was that? What about Charles in Charge? What was that dude's name? What was it? No, could have been. I no, guess. It wasn't. All I know is that Bayo guy. Wow, he—he, he, I did not expect him to be like such a raving lunatic. Yeah. But I guess yeah, it happened. Lunatic, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, what's the weirdest? Tell us about your neighborhood. What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened in your neighborhood? The weirdest thing that has ever happened here. That's a good question. A lot of weird things I would say do happen here. What have you what have you seen happen that's strange? Well, um, at the uh, next complex over, the next building over, I've heard something really strange, like a gunshot, which I guess isn't strange but kinda of terrifying. I, and I, apparently yeah. Uh, apparently a, uh, uh, pizza delivery person got shot delivering pizza. Who would do that? And Don't shoot your pizza thing. guy. I mean, that guy, you're supposed yeah. to hug him. Right. He's right. bringing you pizza for God's sake. Don't you want the apparently, pizza? the pizza guy lost an eye too, so that's horrible. Wow. I wonder if he's delivering pizza there anymore. I bet you he still does. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really, it, it's, it's really hard now, but I still deliver the pizza. And directly behind me in the complex, I was talking to my, uh, uh, my neighbor, and he said that uh, there was a person directly behind us a couple of months back. They had found him dead in his apartment after about a week. 
that's kind of a, a tragic thing too. So that is also weird. That's wacky madcap uh, uh, stuff you got going on there, dude. Yeah, yeah, a lot of weird stuff. A lot of weird stuff, man. I'm adding the, uh... I think it's fried onion. I don't know. It's very crisp. Um... Okay, now... I'm opening up the fridge, and I'm taking out the coriander. Westerners will refer to this as cilantro. Yeah, a couple sprigs of the coriander. I'm gonna do one like that, and one like that. Now, all we gotta do is put the beauty egg on top. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as it looked. For a moment there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need the, uh... So this is, this is from, uh, ABC President. And this stuff is called Chabe. Or Chabe. I'm gonna call it Chabe. I like Chabe. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is add some of this wonderful chabe sauce. It's a spicy sambal sauce from Indonesia. Now I'm going to put the most wonderful thing that you can do to ingratiate any mie goreng on top. And knowing that it's 2020, I'm still understanding that there's a good chance this just won't work but it looks like it has look at that ladies and gentlemen we've got the egg on top are you gonna spill no you're not you're you're solid so what i'm gonna do now is uh i'm gonna clean it up a little bit we're gonna have a little rotato fun with it and then uh, I'm going to go take beauty shots and come back and we're going to give it a try, okay? One moment. Let's let the rotato begin. All right, you're still with us, Stumpy. Yo. Yes. All right, so we are back, and the time has come to sample this wonderful way to say goodbye to 2020, a prison ramen style burrito with uh, spicy cheese ramen uh, uh, mie goreng from Indonesia. I think the first thing we need to do is get this egg absolutely ready to go. And I think the best way to do that is to let that yolk run. So shall we do the honors? Oh yeah, let that yolk run. Run yolk, run. And there it goes, I think. I think so. Wow, it's not running. Doesn't want to run. Thank you, 2020. Oh, here we go. Look at that yolk. Wow, it's just like slow. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful, beautiful thing. Beautiful. 
All right, and now it is time to give this a try. What do we have here? We have Cheetos, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Doritos, uh, Solera Pados, Spicy Cheese, Mega Ring with Mayonnaise, a little bit, and a little bit of this uh, Chabe sauce, this stuff, which I swear by this. This stuff's super good. I believe uh, Old Stumpy's tried this stuff too. Oh yeah, I love the chabe. Yeah, and yeah. then there's some, uh, there's an egg, obviously, and then there's some coriander. So let's, let's, uh, well, here's, here's the side that broke, and here's how it looks. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. There's definitely some good heat to it. I will say the, uh... Oh, there it is. The Mega Ring is, flavor itself is kind of muted due to all of the extreme, uh... Flamin' Hot and Nacho Cheese flavor. Take a little bit and we'll add, dip it in the chabe and egg. Very nice combination. Let's try a little bit that has the topping and the included mayonnaise. The texture on these things is really weird because it's like the different sized bits. I mean, I, I spent a good amount of time, Stumpy can vouch for this, crunching up all the stuff. But there's still like um, larger pieces of the Cheetos and those end up being a little bit chewy. There's like different textures all through it. And the Dorito ends up being kind of like Almost like, almost like tortilla. I mean, they are tortilla chips, but when they get wet, they kind of come back to that state. And so between those two, and then you got the noodles as well, it kind of gives this feel of meat. There's no meat in this, but it kind of has this meat texture. It works. This one, this one is one, definitely one of the better ones I've made. It's kind of goopy. Mmm. Wow. Wow, I'm stunned. This is probably the best one I've ever made. What say you about that, Mr. Stumpy? I think that is a wonderful thing. And anything spicy and cheesy, I am all for. That sounds great. Let's ask the, uh, the, the outgoing guy. I would say maybe. Well, you don't know what he's talking about anyway. I think it's time to do a cross section of this so you can see how it looks. I'm gonna take the knife of pleasure and pain. It's a special knife we use just on this show. So let's see, right there. The knife of pleasure and pain going through Ah, uh, we're gonna have a problem with this cor- Oh, it made it through the coriander. It's a very good knife. Very sharp knife. Just allowing basically the weight of the knife to go through. There we go. Maybe applying a little bit of weight. A little bit of- a little bit of pressure to the- to the blade. Then you'll be able to see what it looks like on. The inside, a cross section, if you will, of the burrito. I'm really bummed that it, it, it fell apart to some degree there. That's 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 really not cool. But you know, it could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. 
we go. Now we have our cross section. I knew it couldn't go 100% perfect. It's still 2020. So. Alright, let's make yep. it so you can see that. Stumpy, you can imagine. Have some imagination time. Okay, I'm imagining. What am I imagining? Uh, the cross section of the burrito. Okay. Um, you're seeing in your mind's eye kind of basically, uh, yeah, just, just imagine, imagine, maybe I can lift it up, I don't know if it's a safe bet, but, there we go. Get on the spatula, or the... There you go. There is a good shot of the cross section of the prison ramen style burrito. Notice it's 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 it all the liquid that was with it. And generally you don't have much liquid or any liquid with me garang, but so I had to kind of like add some. But uh, yeah, and look at the color on this stuff, man! It's like nuclear, nuclear. Now I'm gonna try the egg with this. I think this is where it's gonna sing. It's gonna sing. It's gonna be beautiful, am I not right? You never know, but I think so. Yeah. Mmm. I like. I like. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad I got, uh, I've walked 10 miles today, so I don't feel so bad. Two packs of noodles, a large bag of Cheetos, and a uh, large bag of Doritos. And a lot of mayo. Mmm. <laughs> But there is coriander, and that's like lettuce. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Some roughage. Nice flavorful thing. So what are you gonna do for New Year's Eve and beyond? Well, I'll be listening to my favorite DJ locally and uh, listen to him spin some tunes. It's gonna be a uh, uh, retro, like 80s type of night of tunes. Well, that sounds up your alley. Fun. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, do you have any, a hey, do you have any inebriants? Yes, I do. I do have some malt liquor beer that I'll drink. Malt liquor, what brand? Uh, that would be Old English. Wow. That stuff is serious business. That it is. That, yep. that it is. I haven't had that in years. I think the last thing near, near that I've had probably was a Mickey's. Yeah. But it's been eons and eons since I've had that. I can deal with the idea of Mickey's, eh, but I mean, yeah. I spilled some yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Super. Yeah, well. I'm gonna have some, uh, well, at least I know I'm gonna have some Ninkasi uh, red IPA and some of their Slayer. It's like, not spelled like Slayer, but it's like a Christmas Slay R. It's pretty good. That sounds really good. A good IPA is just you know, yeah. a choice. I used to be a big fan of porters and, and stouts. And I've got this uh, left-hand uh, nitro milk stout, but eh, 
I I finally decided it was time for me to like try all these IPAs just due to the fact that that's like almost all there is. So I decided to do that, and now it's like these stouts just seem bland and funky and watery. It's like chocolate milk with like a bunch of water in it. So I'm kind of I've, I've turned I've I've been converted. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we started watching this show called uh, Midnight Sky. Midnight Sky. How is that show? It's it's uh it's a, I think it's just a movie. It's got uh what's his name in it? George Clooney. Oh. Yeah. It's like dystopian post-apocalyptic kind of thing going on. It looks. I, I'm into it so far. She fell asleep. She's got a better sense of, she's got better taste than I do, so I probably should have fallen asleep. <laughs> you know. Mm. Pound a few beers, eat a pizza, stay up, stay up to midnight, make out, go to bed. And hopefully wake up and do like three hours of walking first thing in the morning. Oh yeah. That's the plan. Sounds like you got a busy schedule. Well. Ooh, that was spicy. But yeah, that's how I like it, you know. I like I like being busy. It affords me the ability to eat something like this. Because it's like, I'll probably walk, I'm going to try to walk another 10 miles today. And so, you sandwich this between like 20 miles of walking. Yeah, don't sweat it. <laughs> it's not wow. too bad of a deal. That is a lot of walking. Yeah. But it is 2020, so I'll probably break my leg. Something stupid. Hmm. Well, uh, 2020, 2020 was like 365 days of Friday the 13th. I swear, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. But I got a feeling 21 is going to be a good year. So... Let's see, is, is, is the year, is 2021 going to be a good year? I have absolutely no doubt. Oh. That means it's not going to be a good year. Great. Mm. Said that with certainty. He said it with certainty. That means it's, it's false. That's kind of like, I've noticed that's how it works. It's just gonna go away when it gets warm. <laughs> it's gonna warm up. It'll go away. It'll be a miracle. Yeah, I really need to stop eating this thing. It keeps calling to me though. It tasks me. <laughs> What's his face says that? Khan and, and Ratha Khan, he's all He tasks me. <laughs> I will spin around and look like a puppet and follow him through perdition's flame to a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, you know, Stumpy, they say time is the fire in which we burn. There's another Star Trek quote. But, uh... As well as, uh... Oh! Mutara restricted. Take permits. Many, many more. That's another Star Trek quote. We watched Star Trek, uh... The Search for Spock this morning because Miles is really into Spock. 
like really in the spot. Now he'll like That's come up, really cool. Papa, can I have a hug? Yeah. And then he'll tell me, live long and prosper. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. Dude, uh, there's no doubt that he is your son. No yeah. Whatsoever. No. None at all. Yep. Oh, I'm starting to feel kind of dizzy. Should I stop eating this? Yeah, you should stop eating that. You're feeling dizzy. Oh. My eyes feel all funny. I'm going to tweak it out. I could take this, though. I could totally finish what I got here. I'm looking at it. And I could finish this. Yeah, good. Wow. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that. Wow, it's still freaking heavy. Time. It's time to say goodbye to 2020. They say 21 is going to be a good year. But... But, but, that's enough. All right, got some of this stuff on the floor. So yeah, that's about that. Oh. Spicy and strange, but that's that. So yeah. Now you have seen it. It is done. And I want to thank everybody for watching this. It'll come out on New Year's Eve with Stumpy in 2020. Right now it's... Wow. Uh, what? I said, wow, it's like uh, uh, instant taping, man. Like live Yeah, taping. I'm cranking so this out. I'm going to get, I'm going to, once we say our goodbyes, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to mix it down and it's going to go out. It's uh, wow. 1.49 p.m. right now. It should be up before 4. So, everybody in the continental U.S. will have time to watch it and then enjoy their fireworks or festivities or what have you. But really, this year, all of you should stay home and personally enjoy yourselves. Don't go out and enjoy things with other people, no. Stay at home and enjoy yourself personally. Oh. I know you all know how to do that. All of you do. All of you. Um, I am not going to do that. I'm going to uh, work on uh, my manifesto. Um, actually, probably not. I don't really know why I would have a manifesto. God, my mouth is burning. That's hot. <coughs> no, but uh, yeah, we'll hang out. We're gonna sit around and watch that movie. Try to keep the kids up. They won't. They won't make it. I don't know that I'll make it to midnight. I got up at three three thirty this morning. So, but yeah, twenty twenty is going to be over. And honestly, I think twenty twenty one. All everybody's like, all like, ooh yeah, twenty twenty is over. It was horrible. It's gonna be way worse. It's going to be so much worse than 2020 ever was. You're going to be like, is it going to be worse? I think it's certainly possible. I think it's probably unlikely. Oh, come on. It's going to be worse. See, he said no, so that means yes. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be an absolutely horrible year. Um, everybody's gonna get sick. I don't know. I, I'm, the way I look at it, 
if I set my expectations into the toilet, anything that doesn't go into the toilet rises to the top. That's the cream. That's the, yeah. So, no. So hopefully it'll be a, a good year, but I'm not counting on it. With, with the way things have gone in the last year, no, I think it can get worse. I think it can get worse. What do you, what do you say to that, Stumpy? I think I would pre prefer to be with the surface cream, uh, surface cream than the uh, sinker of a stinker. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. I'd rather, I mean, if, uh, you know, like, ra uh, former uh, speaker, uh, Senate, ma uh, Senate Majority Leader, John Boehner, no, he would Speaker of the House. He said, if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. And unfortunately, that's not how it works. There's a lot of ifs and buts. But, uh... It's almost turned into a mukbang. I'm glad I didn't eat all of that. I don't even want to know how many calories that stuff is. If I had, but I didn't. So yeah. I don't know. How do we end the show? Uh, that's a good question. Do you have an anecdote? Anything worthwhile? An anecdote. Yes. Can you like uh, pound on somebody's door, somebody's door at your apartment building and make them do it? No. No, you can't no. say like, "Hey man, can you like just end the show, say the show's over?" And they they won't do it. No. Nobody? Nobody at all. Not that I know of. Can you just go outside and find a random human? Oh, you don't have any data. You're on Wi-Fi, huh? Yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi. Oh, well. I guess I could get the kids to do it. Yeah, you could. Hey, Miles. Miles, Mimi. Open the gate. Open the gate. Come on in. Well, thank you for joining me, Stumpy. It's been good. Enjoy it. Hi, Miles. Hi, Mimi. Today. All right, so I need you guys' help. I need you guys to end the show. End the show! Okay, yeah. So what I need you guys to do is say the show is over as loud as you can. Okay, so just yell at the top of your lungs. The show is over! Are you going to say the show is over? I'll give you more Pez. Just say the show is over!